Now, when we get in uh, some kind of conflict with existence, it's because our individuality is in disagreement with what is. And in that moment, there's an invitation for humility, right? Some kind of humility that dissolves the separation between inner and outer. Allow for a wideness, a maturation, a growing up. That doesn't exclude being present with yourself, but that somehow flips that coin or tips that separated individual out over the edge and into that unity with everything where there isn't disagreement. There is a bowing that allows a full receptivity and allows everything to be invited in instead of trying to have a reality which is apart from everything that is around you or everything else. The extent to which we have to swallow up everything to be able to be fully free in everything. That allows us to be in a loving presence right here, right now taking in the soul out care of ourselves, but from that point of having taken care of ourselves, letting that care spin, spill into everything around us. Not out of self-love, driving ourselves into the ground in some kind of sacrifice, but fully including our own breath of joy at the baseline of everything and taking that with us into playing our part in this life. Because look at it, we're all cells in that body of her. Or I could say we are all bees in the hive. Or I could say we are all um, ants in the ant farm. We all have a place in that ant farm. We all have a place in the beehive. Each and everyone's offering into the totality of what is matters. In the misunderstood mental world that has translated into society and world. But try to wheel that back for a moment and see that there is a service to the totality, which isn't about a concept or a mental construct of a world but which is about the fact of your body being a cell in the body of the earth. And that simply means when we fully align with that, our bodies naturally move as a part of what allowing humanity to be what it was meant for. I mean, look at all of these beings that were created on this planet, right? Now the core purpose focus of the humanity and the entire instrument of the brain of the body is set up for that God recognition. That is what we have, especially as this species that we are. The evolution came to this because God wants to see itself, because God wanted to be reflected down through this being. Instead, we are in some separate state and we have walk around with this idea that we have a life of our own, right? In a world. So we are, we are removing ourselves from the, the point <laughs> that basically we are cells in this body. We are the conduit that's supposed to allow the cosmic universal energy to penetrate into the core of the earth, which blossoms out as a pure manifestation of beauty on the planet. Instead, the planet is cracking and like <laughs> all kinds of shit because we are kind of blocking that flow by running around playing individuals, separate individuals. Instead of surrendering that separateness, that self-centeredness, that addiction to the sense of self so that it all can come to stand bloody wide open and we can all serve our purpose here right? 
we can all become those bees in the hive or ants in the ant farm. Yeah. <laughs> and might I add, have a bloody good time doing it. 